Okay, off to Aintree now for the Paul's Paul Moore's three and a half, three mile five furlong final. It's a 0 to 180 handicap. You need to have qualified for this one. So number one is Gathering Pace, two is Eagle Shore Boy, three is Bart Simpson, four is Lord Vader, five the Waif, six Hop Kirkshaw Boy, seven Cozy Marine, eight Tinkertown Shoe, nine Stormbird, ten Spiritless, eleven Stoke Lacey, twelve is It, thirteen Turf Time, and fourteen Five Fine Kingdom. So good luck. Here at the entry fences, some of you would have had uh, some luck over the Grand National meeting. As they approach the first, and everybody's over it. So you're waiting to settle down. They've got another 23 flights to flights, fences to jump. But it's it the favourite, well, not it the favourite. It it leading from Lord Vader. But they're going quite slow here. It's a pretty much a snail's pace as they come to the canal turn which is a second and they're all over that but it's pretty slow this in fact you could probably walk faster than this round this course but it's Lord Vader that just knows he's in front now he'll lead them into the third and they all get over it I won't remember the names of the fences this time lads I didn't do any swatting up I don't remember the Grand National anyway it's Lord Vader that takes them into the fourth everybody jumps that well bit of a slow jump by it who was leading but has now demoted himself right into the back of the pack a few from the grandstand there get to the fifth it's a ditch and everybody's over that stormbird trying to take the lead now from lord vader spiritless and hop kirkshaw boy and then there's the waif and bart simpson they get to the six everybody's over that behind bart simpson's eagle shaw boy and stoke lacy We've got Fine Kingdom, Cozy Marine, Gathering Pace, Tinkertown Shoe and Turf Time. So back up front, it's Stormbird and Lord Vader, just half a length in it, as well as Spiritless of Grey on the outside. And a couple of lengths ahead of Eagle Shore Boy and the Waif. And the Hopkirk Shore Boy. Jim Murray's horses. And then we've got It, Gathering Pace, Tinkertown Shoe, Bart Simpson, Fine Kingdom, Cozy Marine and Turf Time. Fine Kingdom's the widest here in the orange silks. Okay, it's now Stormbird that leads us just by a length from Lord Vader and Spiritless. They're all over the seventh. And they're still going along at a snail's pace. They really are. So it's Lord Vader and Stormbird from Spiritless and Gathering Pace. The Waif, they go to the eighth. Everybody's over it, all jumping these entrance fences as well. There's a view. And the stands. And Lord Vader's got himself a length and a half, but takes another pull. They really want to go around here on a, you know, a real snail's pace. So they make the ninth a big fence. Everybody's over it. Not sure if that's beaches. I wouldn't have thought so in the in the straight, but I could be wrong. I go past the water jump, that's not used here. Oh, it is used. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and they're over it. My apologies. It's the last week of comms. After doing 13 weeks of it, we all need a rest. But it's Lord Vader that leads from Spiritless in second. And then the rest of the chasing pack. But they're all quite close here. And Lord Vader takes a pull again. Nobody really wants to bowl along on this. We've still got over two miles of this. And I'm not sure. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. We'll have a cough. I have time to cough. That's Lord Vader and Hopkirk, sure boy, the two of them together. Being followed by through the rest into the chasing pack. This is under two miles to travel. Let's do another 12 fences to take and come to the 11th. All over that. Better jump by Lord, no, by, sorry, by Hopkirk, sure boy. That gives him the lead by half a length to Lord Vader. They're into the 12th. They reverse this time. Very poor jump there by Bart Simpson, which is one of the favourites. He certainly pecked on landing. He's built under a bit of pressure for his jockey to get a better position now. We come to the 13th. Everybody's over it. They're all still on their feet here, which is pretty good. Though they've been going at such a pace, I think most of them could just step over the fences. We come to the 14th. Again, everybody gets over it safely. Not much change up front. It's still Lord Vader and Hop Kirkshaw Boy. And still a mile and a half to travel and nine fences to take. They come to the 15th. 
Everybody, oh, we finally lost one, and it's Wayne Kingdon that's unseated his rider. Bad luck there, Martin. Oh, and we're getting one pulled up as well now, which looks like turf time. So we've lost a couple, but it's Hopkirk Shawboy that leads them into the 16th. Everybody gets over that this time. So it's Hopkirk Shawboy from Lord Vader. And we've got Stoke Lacey and Spiritless. Stormbird, Tinkertown Shoe. Eagle Shaw Boy. They take the 17th. It's a small fence and then everyone's over it. And they're followed through by the Waif, Cozy Marine, Bart Simpson and Gathering Pace. But they're all still in this race. And Hot Kirk Shaw Boy still bowling along. Comes to the 18th. Can now turn again. Everybody's over it. And I've gone silent for a minute. Oh, and Gathering Pace has been pulled up. I missed that one, guys. So I'm not sure. Certainly was not gathering any pace. But he's also been pulled up now. So it's Hot Kirk Shaw Boy that leads them. We've only got four fences left to jump and just under a mile to travel. They're all over that. So it's Hot Kirk Shaw Boy from it in second. Spiritless is third. Stormbird is four. Way five. Six Tinker... Sorry, Lord Vader. Six is Tinkertown Shoe. They're over that ditch. Most of them jumped it well. Just the one at the rear is now Eagle Shaw Boy. But Hot Kirk Shaw Boy is the one up front. By a couple of lengths to it. And then we've got Spiritless. Bit of ground being made up by Lord Vader. They take the 22nd. Everybody's over it. There's now only two left to jump and five furlongs left to travel. Hot Kirk Shaw Boy still leads. Some pressure from the other jockeys now. Stormbird trying to make up some ground as is Spiritless. The one on the inside is Lord Vader. Here comes the Waif. The outside of that is Bart Simpson, Cozy Marine. Tinkertown Shoe in the green. Then we've got Eagle Shaw Boy that we can't see at the moment. And Stake Lucy is in the picture. But it's Hot Kirk Shaw Boy that leads them inside four and a half furlongs now. Hot Kirk Shaw Boy from Spiritless. Everybody's under pressure now. Stormbird, they should really be flying. They've gone around at a snail's pace. But it's Hopkirk Shaw Boy that leads from Spiritless in second. Third is Stormbird. Cozy Marine on the outside is four. But it's still Hopkirk Shaw Boy just by a nose now inside the three furlongs as they approach the next. They're over the 23rd and this penultimate. They've only got one left to jump and Hopkirk Shaw Boy still leads. But here comes Spiritless again. On the outside is Stormbird, Bart Simpson. They're not really making much progress here. Hopkirk Shaw Boy under pressure now from Spiritless. We've still got two furlongs and a to jump, they go to the last. Everybody's over it. Poor jump there by Tinkertown Shoe, but Spiritless has started to pull away. We've got a furlong and a half to run. Spiritless from Hopkirk Shaw Boy, the way from Bart Simpson, all plugging on, but they've got a bit to do to catch Spiritless here. He's pulling away. We're inside the final furlong. Spiritless is going to take this a thunder spark. Spiritless, I think, from Hopkirk Shaw Boy. As we watch him coming in now. Spiritless is not going to get caught. Wins the Paul Moore three and a half. Three ball five final. Spiritless wins. Fast finishing Waif and Bart Simpson. I think all fought for, sec for second with Hopkirk Shaw Boy. So it is Spiritless of Thunderspark. Well done. Second was Bart Simpson for Graham Clutterbuck. Third is Hopkirk Shaw Boy for Jim Murray. Fourth was the Waif for Leon Van Rensburg. And fifth was Cozy Marine for D. Thompson.